everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're unaware, this is the second part of a part two video series that is going on with Hershey Park Enthusiast and I. We are doing a collaboration, so if you want to go see part one and haven't seen it, go check out his video. I'll put a card right up here on screen right now. You can go check out his video. And if you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. He does great videos, makes Hershey Park content, and he is a really cool guy overall. Also, if you're new here and you like what I post, consider subscribing to the channel. It really helped me out a lot on my journey to 500 subscribers and it would really make my day. So if that subscribe button is red, click it now to make a gray and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. In part one, we talked about how B&M was like aerodynamics in the beginning of their lifetime. How B&M started to innovate at the start of their journey, I guess you could say just like Arrow did with their steel tubular tracks and their custom looper models. In this video, we're gonna talk about how B&M now is like aerodynamics and their downfall. So when you hear B&M, what's the first thing you think of? You think of their B&M hyper coasters, their floorless coasters, and how they are all like the exact same. They all have cookie cutter elements. Their hyper coasters all have the floater hills, the same drop, same hammerhead turnaround. All of their looping coasters have zero G rolls, dive loops, immelmans, vertical loops. They're all cookie cutter elements. They're just sequenced differently. Notice how that's exactly what Arrow did. Arrow also had, you know, cookie cutter elements with their bat wings, their vertical loops, and their double corkscrews. And B&M just kind of stuck with that. They've always done the same elements, and still to this day, they're still making pretty similar rides. And now B&M is almost becoming obsolete, just like aerodynamics was becoming obsolete when B&M entered the game. With, new with the new manufacturer on the block now being RMC, RMC has made some pretty innovative stuff, especially with their RMC iBox track, creating new wacky elements like the Zero-G stall, outer banks, and stuff like that. And now Intamin is even adopting this onto their roller coasters and making them more unique. B&M, well, they're still doing the same thing. And now with amusement parks looking for more unique rides, they're more likely to go with those manufacturers other than B&M. So now B&M has to adapt to this new way of making roller coasters. And we're now seeing this with rides like Orion and Candemonium. With Candemonium, you have that outer bank and with Orion, you have that giant wave turn. So that is a really, really good thing. Now, this is gonna be a really interesting part Hershey Park Enthusiast is now going to talk about how B&M could potentially go under and fail, just like Aerodynamics did whenever they over-innovated with X2. Could B&M do the same thing? Well, let's find out here. So we saw B&M outplay Aerodynamics just with their innovation. B&M is kind of getting outplayed right now by all the innovation happening with the new launch coasters, the RMCs happening, the single rails, just everything is kind of overwhelming B&M. And a lot of major parks in the US especially have B&M roller coasters. B&M is quite frankly running out of models to sell. That is a major reason with why we're not seeing any inverts being built, because a lot of parks have B&M inverts, so they don't really need to buy a second one. A lot of parks have B&M hyper roller coasters, and we're not seeing those really being built except for Hershey Park or Cannemonium, but that's kind of a that's kind of an exception to that rule. BNM Gigas really only exist inside of the Cedar Fair chain and really not a lot of parks can get Giga coasters. They're very expensive and they take up a large plot of land and not a lot of parks have that much land to work with. Those are BNM's most profitable models and all of the three are not very marketable for one reason or another. Now the dive coaster trend is still alive but I think it's kind of running out of time. And this this is the same reason as the other three. Parks are getting dive coasters and they're running out of park. B&M's really only other model is the wing coaster, but that really hasn't been super profitable for B&M. So B&M is running out of models. They're gonna have to innovate very, very soon. And I think they are with the surf coaster. The surf coaster to our knowledge is B&M's take on a multi-launch coaster. B&M is trying to innovate just like Aerodynamics did when B&M took over the coaster scene. Just like Great Bear Productions pointed out earlier, B&M's downfall could very well be the reason that they got success. 
other roller coaster manufacturers are just innovating more than them. Also, just due to reliability and how well BMs are built, BMs are very expensive to buy. After COVID, parks don't have as much money to spend on new attractions, meaning they're gonna go with cheaper roller coaster models. So not BMs. BM is trying to redeem their innovation with the surf coaster. But what if it destroys BNM just like X2 did with Aerodynamic? Now there's a huge difference between going from a regular looping coaster to a multi-dimensional coaster and from BNM going to a multi-inversion coaster or hyper coaster to a launch coaster. But still, this could pave the way for BNM's downfall. If BNM innovates enough with this and they start to kind of get ahead of themselves, they might just go all out just like Aero did and absolutely ruin themselves. I want to thank Great Bear Productions so much for having me on. It was a lot of fun doing this collab. Please make sure to go subscribe to his channel. He has amazing roller coaster content that you will not want to miss out on. Seriously, one of the most underrated roller coaster YouTubers ever. So thank you so much again, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. So yes, as you can see, B&M is a turning out to be a lot like aerodynamics. I hope they don't ever come to an end, but who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. But... That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. Again, if you're new here and you like what I post, consider subscribing to the channel. And also, check out Hershey Park Enthusiast's channel. He makes great content just like me. If you like the video, drop a like down below. And also, if you want to join my Discord server, the links will be down below for that. But that's all I got for you guys today, and I will see you all later. Bye!